Hello everyone, praise the Lord. Very good morning. I'm happy that God has brought us together to meditate this word today. Hello everyone, praise the Lord. Very good morning. I'm very happy that God has brought us together to meditate this word. May God speak to us. Even in this morning as you meditate his wonderful word, surely God will be glorified as you meditate his word. Today's meditation is from the book of Romans chapter 6 verse 2. By no means we meditated with the first verse. We are those who have died to sin. How can we live it in any longer? Apostle Paul says here that our old self, our old man has, has been died because God has given us, God has made us a new creation. We are the new creation by God. We have the new being in, in God. So when our old man, the sinful man is, is dead, how can he rise up again and he can come back to life? Only the man who lives in a holy life or lives as a new creation given by God can live hereafter. So Apostle Paul doesn't mean here by saying that when he says how can this man rise up in, the, in a way when we sin this man will not be counted or when we sin it is not the old man. Apostle Paul does not mean that. He means that when we claim that that is why in the next verse he talks about the baptism. When, when we claim that old, old man is my old is dead our old is gone a new creation has come when we say that my old man is dead and when we say that how can we sin again and rise up this man and make him to come back to life in our life we say that I'm a new creation and this new creation lives in me and now and then we bring back this old man into our life we sin against God here and there now and then and we bring back the old man into our life that's what Apostle Paul says how can we do that? We, the people who have received the new creation in us, only let the new creation live in us forever. So let the old man be dead and let the new man, new creation that God has given in, in your soul, in your spirit, let him live forever. Amen.